Well, good evening and welcome back to Mystic Hour, a live podcast about all things mystical and nerdy right here on Proficiency Bonus. I'm your host, Christy Mystic Water, and each week we have interesting conversations with awesome people discussing all the geeky fandoms, hobbies, and cultures. Uh, before we begin, we'll do some quick channel shout outs and announcements. First and foremost, a big shout out to our newest sponsor, Little Dragon Core. Little Dragon Core is a Canadian based dice company that can supply all kinds of nerdy tabletop must have gear. Des- dice sets, dice trays, even light up dice display bases. Right now, they got some really absolutely gorgeous gemstone inspired sets. So, birthstone, gemstones, they are cool. Also, um, since we weren't here, Live for the Proficiency Bonus two year stream event, we will also be doing a giveaway of a set of birthstone dice tonight. I will be opening that giveaway very soon. I will let you know when you guys can enter. Um, so if you want your chance to win a set of birthstone dice, get ready for that. You can go check them out on Twitter at Little Dragon Co. Number one, Little Dragon Co. One for updates on their elemental dice Kickstarter coming soon. Also, don't forget to put in the coupon code BONUS, B-O-N-U-S, at checkout for your chance to get 10% off your order. As usual, big thanks to Twitch, Streamlabs, Many Sided Dice, and Team MZ. Thanks to their support, we're able to stream and keep doing what we love. Also, last announcement, Waterdeep is back! Hell yeah! So, we're introducing a brand new show, Waterdeep Dragon Heist Resurfaced. Our Wednesday crew has officially relaunched the Dragon Heist module run by our newest member of the Proficiency Bonus family, Chell. They are very awesome, and we're so lucky to have them run this brand new adventure for us. Episode 1 aired last night, and if you missed it live, you can go check out the VOD here on Twitch or hop over to our YouTube channel and watch it there when we upload it. Um, Before I start and move us over to the crazy kids... Uh, I have a little surprise for everybody. If you've seen my YouTube channel, you might have seen it already, but I did a little video vlog of the Probo family at Gen Con. So enjoy. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, we sure as hell funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just, ooh. We wanna do tonight Waking up at sundown The world's our playground And we don't even have to pretend Every time we're together It doesn't get better And every day's like a weekend We're just like ooh, ooh, ooh We don't worry about tomorrow We just ooh, ooh, ooh What we wanna do tonight So don't tell me How to how I should
All right, we're back and we're live. Wasn't that so fun? So I got my BBs, well, some of them, not everybody, from the Gen Con trip that we just got back from. We were there. Well, they were there ahead of me. I was supposed to be there first. <laughs> yeah, you were hella late. I was, I was hella late. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say a note to our viewers. Do not fly WestJet and do never, ever, ever go through LaGuardia Airport. It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> <laughs> woof woof woof. They're actually watching right now. They were gonna sponsor us and now they won't Get out! Money. I don't want your money after how you treated me. Made me cry three <laughs> times in twenty four hours. Get out of here. No 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 no. Oh. So tonight <sighs> we have Victoria, Jamie, Matthew, and Derek my BBs. I miss you guys already. I know. Okay. We tried to kidnap you, but Calvin I wouldn't know, let us. I know. You threatened us. I know. Um but yeah, uh, what do you guys want to talk about? I haven't really planned anything. I guess I could kind of talk about the trip there, because that's an adventure. <laughs> Oof. Oof. It was bad. Um, so initially, like, I'm flying out of Vancouver, and to get to Indianapolis, uh, the cheapo air, you get what you pay for, told us we had to go from Vancouver to Toronto to New York to Indianapolis. So we had to go all the way from the West Coast to the East Coast to get to the Midwest. Makes not much sense, but we're like, okay, yeah, let's plan that we land in Indianapolis at 10 p.m. on Tuesday. That was, <laughs> I forgot. I that didn't was know it was that early. <laughs> yeah, 10 p.m. on Tuesday, I it was, was like supposed a whole to be day there. before all of us. I was supposed Ooh. to be getting ready to like pass out and wake up early and go down to the lobby because Derek was going to be there at 6.30 in the morning. And I was like, that's so sad. I'm going to come down and give you company or you can come to our room and we'll hang out. It's fine. Like, leave your baggage in our room. It's great. We're going to have... We're going to be there. And so <laughs> I freaking... We, we get to Toronto and our flight was delayed, I think, by like two or three hours because there was like an all stop at LaGuardia. No flights were going in or out of the airport, I guess, from thunderstorms or something. There were a lot of storms on the East Coast. Yeah. Like right around that time. So we were freaking out and we were trying to like rebook a flight and they wouldn't let us do anything because they were assuring us that our connecting flights in New York would not be affected because everyone was delayed. It wasn't just us. They're like, oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry. All flights are delayed. Anyone with connecting flights, no worries. No big deal. And sure enough, we get there. And it turns out the flight that we were supposed to catch left an hour early. Yeah. So we're stuck in LaGuardia <laughs> with nowhere to go. And we're like, great. So we managed to get a flight for, I think it was like four hours later and that one ended up being delayed and then canceled so we're stuck in LaGuardia at like four in the morning nowhere to go freaking the fuck out already having horrible experience with WestJet they're treating us like shit talking down to us like it's our fault that their flights are delayed freaking Kelvin is the most amazing travel agent. If he could choose another career, he should be a travel agent. He spent four hours on the phone back and forth, managed to get us a flight to Atlanta at 7 a.m. to land in Atlanta, and then from Atlanta, we would go to Indianapolis. Thankfully, well, that's how we managed to get Hold back. on, you skipped the best part. Which part? The hotel. Oh, fuck. That's right. So we Also, had you guys were supposed to have another flight to Indy from there that got cancelled yes. again, didn't it? Yes, and then you got that's the right, too. I totally and forgot about the that. the part where I just flew with no problem. Yeah, you were <laughs> fine. <laughs> so, they wouldn't pay for our hotel. We had to stay in this hotel, West, like, a, some sort of express hotel off the airport, and we had to pay an extra $200 for this last-minute room. And we were supposed to go back and catch the flight for Indianapolis. That one was cancelled. Oh, Fuck. And we get to the hotel and we get to the room and we're ready to just pass out. There's no pillows on this fucking bed. And so we call. <laughs> we're like, hey, can you just send us like a couple pillows? No big deal. Oh, actually, we're just going to move you to a room with two beds instead. And we're like, um, okay. They're like, yeah, this one's like brand new. So it's in, under construction. And I'm like, 
you, all that's missing is pillows. This isn't under construction. You're just missing pillows. You can send us pillows. So no, they forced us to leave that room and go up three more floors to our new room with two beds. And I was like, okay, And you sure. had to turn in your old keys, didn't you? Yeah, we had to go all the way back down to the lobby, get new keys to go upstairs. Yo, LaGuardia is ass. And then, was it our flight from Atlanta into Indianapolis? had no water pressure so we weren't allowed to use the toilet on the plane and i was just like it was one thing after the other and back yeah, we, we just lost you no, you're yeah, muted. Hear you. oh i hit my mute button while i was getting angry said it was one thing after another one thing after another like constantly back to back and also in LaGuardia, i freaking broke my favorite sandals i absolutely adore they snapped in half so Oh, and I couldn't change my shoes until I got my luggage, and I was- Everything that could go wrong went wrong, like, every step of the way. It was... Uh, I wasn't that surprised, just because my last name literally means the broken in French, and I've always had terrible luck. And Kelvin never believed me for the longest time when we first started dating out. I warned him about this curse. I warned him. He's like, no, no, no. And sure enough, yep, yep. It's followed him to Hong Kong. He got to Hong Kong, and they put him in the wrong hotel room, too. Oh. Yeah, didn't they put him in the economy room? like The, the tiny tiniest tiny room? room for him and his, like, brother. And he's like, Aww. I paid for premium. So thankfully, the Hong Kong concierge actually like gave them food tickets and... Because they probably have, like, actual customer service. They have actual customer in... service there, as opposed to WestJet, who are they absolutely They also have assholes. a lot going on there, because, like, the big Dota competition soon, and it's actually in that city. So uh, also, lot. Hong Kong's got a lot of protests happening right now. Yeah, the, there's the a lot going on. There's a lot happening. But yeah, that was... I probably didn't even cover half of it, because I was so emotionally wrecked by the time I landed. But she yep. got there. But I got there! <laughs> got there. Th two days, you, three days you late! You missed the first day of the con, but you got there. I got- we got there Thursday at 7 a.m. as opposed to Tuesday at 10 p.m. So yeah. It was great. It was so great. Eight. I just have to have the part with all of us checking in with the hotel, following with her and Calvin on- Oh my god! Everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, you guys are gonna get me beat up. <laughs> Why? Well, well, because Christy, you're like, oh, just like tell them that you're my friends and that you can go in my room, and and I'm there. Yeah, because like, we pay. don't want we don't want to pay for it. Like, well, like, yeah, but I was like, I'm like, I don't know if they're gonna let that happen. Like, I literally had to pay an extra hundred dollars on top of like the full hotel room charge to even get my keys. So like, I don't know what's gonna happen. And then like a couple hours later, Matthew just rolls up and is like, I have Christie's room key. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, cause that's the thing is we were supposed to be there Tuesday. So we called and let them know we're getting delayed. And they're like, okay, well you still have to pay for that. And again, we missed two full days of that we're paying for <laughs> at the hotel and they wouldn't reimburse us cause it's an act of God nature. So we have, we're paying for two days and no one's using our room. So we're like, yeah, if you want to use our room, go get our ho hotel keys. We already asked the concierge. What Victoria's and leaving out is the evil plan that Jamie, Derek, and I had. Oh, oh right. Oh, no, 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 this is totally phone. your plan. This was a massive plan. <laughs> 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 Jamie and Derek were in our room relaxing. Yes. You know? <laughs> to completely toss the room and be like, oh, I don't know what happened. We gave the keys to Victoria. Oh, yeah. That was the night that I was playing my game with my other group. Yep. And yeah. Yep. You weren't even you there and they were going to blame gonna... you for it. <laughs> yeah. You At that point, you might as well have gotten some like two, like two little travel tubes of mayonnaise and just smeared them all over the room, too. Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a little too much. <laughs> we um, didn't put oh. pillows. By, by the way, way guys, I am opening the giveaway now. So if you want your chance to win a set of birthday dice from Little Dragon Core, enter the word "birthday" in chat for your chance to win, and we will close that out when we hop off here. Oh man, I, I kind of want to message Ink and tell him to do it. Ink right. needs new dice. You want some dice? <laughs> yeah, tell, tell, tell Tori to, to join. Join the chat. From, from your Twitch thing and, and type birthday. Yeah, you, get a, you could get a set of dice me. Get her into yeah. it. Kelvin's already Do it. broken himself. <laughs> Heck yeah. 
No, I'm glad I ended up going because there was like two distinct moments where both me and Kelvin took turns saying, let's just go back to Canada because this is too much. LaGuardia broke us. But I no, I like, like in hindsight, like we would have regretted that so much more if we just turned around and went back. Like That's what we were talking about. Like, because when all of this is going down, I was like, I really hope well, none of us wanted you to cancel mm -hmm. because like we really wanted to meet you and also like... For all of, like, the crap that you went through, like, going to the con, like, we were like, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna make all of this worth it. Mm -hmm. And it like, was a hundredfold. It was so worth it. I'm so glad I was there. I got all the so hugs! Fun. I was so happy! It was really fun. So cuddly. Yeah, cuddly was. everybody. Oh, I miss you guys. <laughs> no. Next time we'll go north. Yes, yes please come to me! North, hold on, I'm just gonna go to Gen Con again. Rude. <laughs> oh, you have fun. I only you. have a little bit of off time at my job. Oh, buddy. Yeah, and we also Same got to play One Shots, run by Matthew, Michael, and Victoria. Those were fun. <laughs> got to play some <laughs> different characters. Heck yeah. They were all like five hours plus. Tell Tori to write <laughs> birthday. Type birthday into chat. <laughs> right now. <laughs> there you go, you did it. Uh, I think she broke it. No, she, no, she got it. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Thanks, Tori. <laughs> yeah, no, the one shots were super fun. And yeah. honestly, like, it was so hard for me to get into character yesterday because since Gen Con, I've just been thinking about how fucking broken swashbucklers are. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so broken. Like, oh my god, we Derek and I were literally talking before this game. We were like, oh yeah, like, I have Holy Weapon. And I'm like, oh yeah, wow, what if I crit on Holy Weapon? And I, I just get sneak attack every time. And then it really happened, and I did like 80 points of damage. It was insane. It was so nice. I, I gotta say, I don't like Divination Wizards. I, I didn't think it was that fun. Oh, come on, Divination Wizards are great. the way to go, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, Divination like Wizards are cool. You were just too focused on Dewey. No. <laughs> no, I just... I, I I like Conjuration Wizards, the most useless ones. So, you mean the ones that can do, like, like, the big explosions? No, the ones that can make things. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? He likes the Conjuration ones. It, it's what like, you can, you can make anything you've seen as long as it fits in a 3x3 three three cube or something like that. But is it real or is it just fake? It's real. It's solid. So could you make a giant pile of mashed potatoes? No, because you can't like eat it. Why can't you? If you can make it, you can eat it. <laughs> yeah, I you can make like a key. You know. <laughs> uh oh, she blinked twice loudly. Uh, some of us already knew that. <laughs> oh yeah. DRB See the second the, the second night I was so tired that I passed out before I even heard the snoring. So I was like, "Hey, cool, like, nice." And I think it was because after the first night it was so loud. I was like, "Yo, Jamie, <laughs> he got so, so conscious about it." And then he like, "How did you keep waking yourself up?" I woke myself it? up oh. every time I started to snore oh. because people were complaining about me. Buddy, no, I wasn't complaining. I was just making a statement that you snore very that. loud. I did do that. At first. Why don't you do that for Tori? That's what I was just saying. I did do that at first. Now I just... <laughs> then now you're just like, F you. <laughs> he takes up, up so much of the bed, alright? <laughs> so I'm pinned against the wall most of the time. It's unbelievable. This episode uh -huh. on Mystic Hour, Jamie gets killed live on stream. <laughs> Bet. Bet. You wanna kill me? Go in on him, Tori. We'll, we'll, we can just put you in the chair instead. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys good. have any favorite moments that happened over that weekend? Uh, oh, dear God. I, I would say it's when you actually finally got there. Oh, yeah! And also Derek. when Victoria scared the crap at me. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> that was hysterical. Oh, God. 
You all were like deer in the headlights at me. Well, I mean, uh, realistically, you're dealing with me at six foot seven. Derek at what, like six, six three, three, six four? Bro, I was so busy. And eating my all dog. of a sudden, this little tiny blonde creature comes flying out <laughs> of a crowd of just <laughs> creature and the literally like a line. small rabid squirrel latched itself <laughs> onto Derek's neck. <laughs> It's like, luckily, luckily, I was more stable. We both would have been on the ground. <laughs> I just love that, like, of like five foot four me and like foot plus taller Derek. The re- Derek's response is like, <gasps> when like he literally just could have been like, <laughs> or just I like, very easily. Okay, <laughs> it was just, it was just adorable. And all of you, like, I went and I had been sending pictures. I was like, I'm in the will call line. And I was taking pictures of the purple dragon inflatable. And I took pictures of the cafe. So, like, if y'all were looking at the chat, you would have. <laughs> so, it's your own fault for being okay, scared. Down. Bullshit on that. You took a picture of a dude with the back of his hat was bright orange. So I was scanning for an <laughs> orange back of a hat. Are we really about to go get these receipts? Because you know I'll do it. Well, Do you know who you're talking to? Faster than we thought it was, so we thought you were farther down. So we were looking farther down the line, and then you just come running out of nowhere on the left side. And I'm like, oh god! You all looked so scared that after I went through and hugged all of you, I was like, oh shit! Did, did I fuck up? I'm like, do they not like me? Oh, we like, oh, love you. Uh, we I love was just you, too Victoria. busy eating my nachos. Yeah, nachos took precedence. Burger. Okay. Jeremy's so like, yeah, yeah, that's nice to see you. No, because I hadn't eaten since like 6 a.m. And by and that time, it was like accordion. Four. Yeah. You were like, you were shrunk down to your like, your smaller size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a large creature, but if I'm just like normally walking, I can be considered a medium sized creature. Everyone's bigger than me in real life. It was like <laughs> I, such a I wake really, up call. <laughs> I didn't realize how short you actually were. This <laughs> was very short. <laughs> Like I could literally just rest my head I know. On, or my chin on top of your head when I you're know. giving me a hug. I <laughs> all right, all right. I don't know how to. Sc- I'm just. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say. Uh-oh. Okay. Picture of the purple dragon <laughs> arch right there. See, we're so much farther. Hi- hide and seek. Here's. There's the cafe. Right there. We didn't even. Know, I didn't know that's what that picture was of. And so much farther ahead, though. I was like, I'm in line. Not good enough. There. I need, I need like. I'm just gonna say, there's the orange. Just a reminder: yeah. you can put in birthday oh, in chat for your chance to win <laughs> birthday dice. But just the word birthday, guys, for your I'm, chance I'm to enter. Saying, like I'm just saying, don't try to fool me with the receipts, Matthew, because I have them. I, I, your receipt proves my purpose. Orange. Hat. No, the purple inflatable dragon was right there. And that turned That's out like to be our meeting miss. place in the end. Yeah, that was. Like, oh, we like, also got hey to guys. meet uh, the peoples from Tabletop Legends. We got to meet two of them. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Names That's are escaping fantastic. me right now, but they're pretty cool. Carlos, people. Carlos, and I forgive me, other person. I remember Carlos. Jen. Yeah, I'm terrible with names. Me I'm too. bad at names too. She's adorable. Though. Not great with names. But they, but they no, were the I, same I, room picture we had see, right just, next to the purple dragon. I just so. know her as Nuala because Nuala from their game is like by far my favorite character. Yeah, we no offense, Nuala. everyone else. All of your characters are great, but she's just like pure. She's very like, pure, and I just love that it's like this big dragon boar pal that is just like, "Hi, have you seen my friend?" <laughs> and I'm just like. She's trying so hard, you guys. Please. Um, what else? Uh, favorite moments. Oh, I really liked, um... I liked getting to meet Ginny D. Oh, mm-hmm. yes! Yes. She was so good. Ginny was, oh my god, so adorable. She was such a good cosplayer. Oh, and like, her. And I love that she, like, you know, when I went to go get my picture with her, she was like... Oh, like, is it okay if I like put my arm around you for this one? Like, she like really asked consent, mm-hmm, and I was sure. just like, "That's so nice." Yeah, I asked her if I could give her a hug because I was so excited, and she's like, "Yes, of course." I'm like, "Oh, Jester, you're so adorable!" Oh my goodness. And then she like retweeted us. Ah, she retweeted us. And she's she was so like, sweet. "It was so lovely to meet you." Yeah, so sweet, very sweet girl, very smart, very creative, very forward with. How she treats people. I love it. 
Very nice. down to earth. Very down to earth. And thanks I to just, Wormwood for bringing cosplays. her out. I love Wormwood. I know, seriously, like, uh, Wormwood- Oh, tell them oh. what they did for you! Oh, Wormwood? Yeah! Oh, oh my god. So, um, I'm basically unofficially proficiency bonuses resident dumb bitch, and, um, <laughs> I had received- my brother gave me- he gave me a $25 Wormwood gift card for Christmas, which is, like, huge, because those things are not cheap, so that's, like, a good chunk out of, like, a dice tray, and there- I've wanted nothing more than to have one of their tabletop dice trays in my life. So, the friggin' first day of the con, we go there, I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, like, I'm gonna get this one. It's, like, one of, like, the cheaper, one of, like, the cheaper woods, and, you know, I'm like, okay, cool, hundred bucks, yeet. I get home, and I, like, empty out, I, I take my wormwood out of, like, the bag, and I go to, like, put it in my backpack, and I see this little beige envelope in my backpack, and I'm like, Lord Victoria, you forgot your gift card, you ho. <laughs> <laughs> So then I like I took I was like I don't know if they're gonna let me do this but maybe they'll let me like upgrade like I was like I don't think they're gonna necessarily give me a return but maybe they'll let me like upgrade to like one of like the middle level like expensive ones so I brought it back to them and I explained I was like yo I'm dumb please help me God like can I upgrade <laughs> can I upgrade to like the Bolivian rosewood and I'll just pay whatever like the difference is using and then like use a gift card and. They were like, yeah, like, you can return and exchange our dice trays for anything if a raccoon gets into it, if your kids get into it, if you run over it with a car. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're super like, great. The real reason so, they gave you the option grade was because they saw me standing, like, a couple feet away, and I was, like, mm -hmm. shaking like I was about to explode. Oh, you rolled and, like, a nat 20 intimidation check? Is that what happened? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I had I had like way too much caffeine in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I believe you were that. just vibrating. <laughs> that, that might have been fi the five espresso shots in that drink. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but no, that was really cool of Wormwood. They have, like, you know, their craftsman's promise, so they, like, guarantee all of their products. And, like, that that dice tray is so nice. The wood is, the grain is so smooth. And, you like, get crazy rolls in that thing. The dice are so bouncy in there. Like, the leather, it just, like, really, it just, like, dances around and, like, rolls. And you, like, you watch it for, like, a solid, like, 20 seconds, and it's still just spinning around in there. And it's just, like... And she smells it like it's cocaine. Hell yeah. I mean, it does smell like WestJet yeah. should take note of Wormwood's customer service policies. Just saying. <laughs> Dang. Come yeah, no, out. Wormwood was cool. <laughs> Ginny D I, was cool. Meeting Christy was cool. The, all, all of the of dice you. were cool. The Exploding Kittens booth was oh, cool. Oh, the Exploding <laughs> Kittens booth was on Oh, that point. was definitely by far Jamie's favorite thing. Jamie yeah, we went my, back there many times. That was my favorite booth. I am an easily amused individual. My favorite purchase. <laughs> my little dragon buddy. Oh, dragon friend. Dragon. It's a dragon. You can put them on your arm. So cute. What else? I'm trying to think of my favorite moment, but I... Mine was, was definitely hugging you guys for the first time and multiple times throughout the weekend, just oh, getting all the hugs, all the hugs. And my that, favorite that initial moment. meeting, just looking as we drive by Christy. <laughs> <laughs> She's just sitting out there, we just like drive by her, and I'm just all like... It's like, no, 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 don't stop, park! Just keep going, keep going! They drove right past me, they're such assholes! They made me wait a whole ten seconds longer to get a hug! That I was, was so I was, like, I was like shaking in the back of the car. Oh. Well, Victoria's gonna kill somebody to get out of here. Park first, maybe one of us will beat her, and she was still the first one out of the car. Somehow, she escaped the I... trunk, mind you. On her own, with no help, to make it to Christy first. It was she like... made it to me first. Victoria was my first hug. I was like shaking. I was we like, I need to get out of this car. And I just done my makeup, and you're like making me cry. And I'm like, can you not? I finally look cute. Can you not? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I think my favorite part was at the Critical Role live show. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask when, about that. When everybody sang the intro yes. song. Yes. There's videos online. Is there? Finally, videos of it. Yeah, there's videos of it online. Yeah. Can you find the link and show me? Yeah, the cast all retweeted the videos. It was Cause the, the awesome. cast were shook. It was awesome. Oh, oh, I was shook. Oh. I was sitting in the back. Oh, oh. This is what Jamie got me from the Critical Role live show. 
Oh yes. A little jester pin. A little Chibi jester. jester. It's hard to see. I was gonna buy more, but they wouldn't let me. Can only have one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I only have one. Isn't she cute? Little jester? And then the line after the show was awesome, so I was like, I'm not saying that. Sorry. Oh, there's the video. Yeah, I linked it for you all. Thank you. I will Bro, watch that after. That was insane. The, it, I, I, it I gave still me think they should have made it to where they that was actually a part of their opening for that episode. Yeah. Me too. They should have cut, they should they have cut have. the audio back. No. I think they'll um, over next time for sure. <laughs> it was really cool. Uh the show was really fun too. Uh but I, nothing beats the intro, I guess. You're not even caught up though, so it wasn't really that I know. for you. Are you kidding me? Yes, it was. Have you seen the episode? Yes, it yes, was great. It was amazing. From the Victoria beginning, I was like, "Oh Victoria's my god!" Yeah, Victoria still hasn't seen it, so we cannot. I'm talk still on this. last year's Gen Con episode. I have not been high? able to catch up. <sighs> Don't spoil it, Jamie. Remember the part where God died? Place to say, the minute you start watching it, you're gonna go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, who were you sitting next to? Were you sitting next to, like, oh, any yeah. weirdos? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I don't think you memory. did. Do you know who you were sitting next to? I was sitting next to a really gross guy. Oh, I remember you. Okay, now I remember. Sorry, I forgot. The people on the other side like... were cool. <laughs> the other guy was like, that did guy. you know? Did you know that my cousin played the very first version of D D. He's the reason that monks got nerfed because he was winning all of the competitions. <laughs> for competitions. D D oh competitions god. gotta love them. Oh god. Oh yeah, love it. <sighs> you gotta oh, win at D D. And he was like caressing the girl's leg. It was gross. Grody. So I like elbow checked her leg. Yeah. Stopped. And then I kicked her foot, and then they stopped again. <laughs> <laughs> so passive aggressive. Yeah. None of that was on your other side. Oh, my other side were they were cool. They didn't say anything. Did you like talk to any of them? Did you talk I to talk any to critters there? Line. I talked to people in line a lot. Hmm. Uh, there were a lot of people there on their own, like me. So... That's probably because they couldn't get more tickets. Yeah, because yeah. the tickets sold. Like we I all think tried. Next year, I think next year we need to just give all of our money to one person. <laughs> And, and buy all the tickets. Just... And everybody well, just buy all the tickets. What if we just make a communal, we'll make like a communal bank account, we all put the money in it, and then we all log Perfect. in and wa at once, because it's a matter of who can click the fastest. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll I can click the fastest, like... apparently. Yeah, you Never everyone else tried, you're the only one that got it. Pro oh, I couldn't so afford jealous. that. Well, well, at the same point, I will say, my wife was trying to do it while I was at work, so. Aww. Yeah, the website wouldn't work for me. Unfortunately. And, it, really and it went live before me and Kelvin had confirmed 100% that we were coming, because we weren't sure. Mm -hmm. Although, like, at the end of the day... Of, there were a lot of the people, like, um, in the days leading up on Ticketmaster, that were selling, um, sometimes for just, like, the regular price of the tickets, but they were, they were appearing and disappearing mm. really fast on Ticketmaster, mm -hmm. and people then... were giving them away on Reddit. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, the last, like, the day of, day before... There was a lot of like people trying to like give them away and sell them and stuff because it was, I think it was probably like a lot of scalpers like who thought they were gonna make a quick buck and then yeah. at the last second were just like <laughs> for yeah. me it, it, would I go again probably not unless everybody else got it too. Aww. I feel like the experience of being able to like sing the theme song and everything together yeah. would definitely be really nice. It, it just. It felt kind of like cool. it was fun for the first half, but after the second half, I was like, "Man, I wish I was with my friends doing things." Oh, baby, yeah. we missed you. I mean, my like, one shot was pretty fun. You missed out. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I could be playing D and D, and I could watch this later. But then the other half of me was like, "But I'm here seeing this live." So yeah, like, I don't. It's definitely a it's once okay. in a lifetime know, experience for sure. Yeah. We know that you don't love Christy as much as we do, and yeah. that's why oh. you decided to abandon her for a couple oh, hours. Why would I stick with you guys? You fucking oh. fucking weebs. Yeah. Who the fuck? Who the fuck doesn't like the "Do you know the way" meme? Come on. It's okay. It's a dead meme. It's a dead meme. Chloe's gonna marry him, so that that was her gift to him, is letting him go. 
<laughs> you mean like when you try to do a statue? Oof. Can you uh, not? Wow. <laughs> wow. That's Oof. Kirby's right. dark mama. You gonna go Hold there? On. We all gonna be sad about Steve, not that. Oh, Come yeah. on. Right, right. Steve. We gotta, yeah. All right, Steve. Steve. Rest in peace. Wait, Rest how's Poptoria? Poptoria's Pop great. She's alive. She's, she's alive. She's, she's good. She's she entertaining Aeon's uh, she's a son. Dog. Yep. Yes. She's a Wait, dog. hold on. Pause. I haven't been. Aeon has a whole lot. Yeah. See, a lot of things happen if you don't tune Chloe. in on Saturday night. Here's the thing. So. I like to sleep, and you guys start really mm -hmm. late. And I, I work in I work a nine to five, so I go to bed pretty early. Chloe what? and Noah are having twins. What? Chloe and Noah. <laughs> Chloe's <laughs> pregnant right now with twins. What level are you guys? Are you guys 13? Even... 13. 14, are I you... thought. I mean, no, we 13. We're 13. Uh, who's, who's, what? Who did, who did Aeon <laughs> marry? What? I, I don't know. You have to find out. We're not here to talk also, about this. He might be seven years older than uh, Noah now, now also. So wait, now. Nicolay, wait. Oh, there's magic that can do that. <laughs> Hey, wow, um, bullshit. About, there's magic that can make a baby, too. Wait, what about... Oh, God. What about Sierra's character? <laughs> what about her? What's, what was she... Is she still with that old, like, yes, ranger dude? Yes, she bought an engagement yeah, ring. Baby. I don't think she's given it to him yeah. yet, but she's bought him one. Is he still old as balls? Oh, yeah, he's yes. still old as balls. <laughs> hey, don't talk about Dead Eye like that. That was my character backstory. <laughs> <laughs> and she yeeted it into hers. <laughs> wow. Yep. I feel like I missed out on so much. Dang it. I don't think we've actually haven't uh, asked how your character was doing. Uh, your guest character. Yeah, who cares? Recently. <laughs> no, I'm, just kidding. I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> they're, they're, I'm sure they're great, though, you know? Oh, yeah, she and her, she and her wife great. are great. They're, mm -hmm. they're on a farm. They're growing mushrooms. You know? It'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, did you have a favorite moment from Gen Con? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I said we're not doing a, a proper like Mystic Hour because I knew we were all over the place it's, after Gen Con. This is gonna this is gonna be Victoria's one shot. I'm gonna squirrel. <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> Wait, what's what's well, a squirrel? Uh, we'll explain to you later, man. <laughs> it, it was a night. <laughs> um, favorite part would realistically would have to be to that initial. I'm much like everyone saying that initial just. Christy moment. That, oh, oh dear guys. God, she's finally here. We were all like waiting. Come here and hug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, after that is probably all sitting around playing Red Dragon in the first time. Yeah. 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 That was super that fun. Was really yeah. fun. And just this. Oh my heart. This seems stupid, simple game, but was just so much fun sitting around goofing off. It was very fun. That was it. Was a good time. That was yeah. that's a fun game. I really wish that I hadn't waited until the last day to buy it because then they only had the original and this and the first like one and two. Really, they only had they one sold and out. Two. Damn. On because I went I went to the exhibition hall on Sunday <laughs> for a couple hours with my other group, and they had sold out of everything except for the Murgath and Oava Ohava yeah. expansion, uh... the Gen Con exclusive Genevieve uh, pack, and one and two. So I bought one and I bought the Genevieve pack just because Gen I love Genevieve and yeah. I think she's really cute. She's I wish they gave her a whole character though, and it wasn't just like three cards. Yeah, it would have been really cool to to have like a whole. But still, like there's a there's um a drinking event, there's a, I think a gambling prize, and I think there's a drink. Nice. So that's okay. cool. But yeah, no, it. Uh... Yeah, so Jamie, our friend who had brought his copies of the game with him inspired a couple of us to pick up some stuff from them. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely something to uh, try. Yes, buy Slugfest games. Slugfest mm -hmm. It's a games very good game. Yeah. They have like what? seven expansion, seven or eight expansions, <laughs> and it's super fun. They've got more expansions than there are days in the week. <laughs> or shows that we stream. <laughs> for me or shows that we skedaddle. Oh, you're ahead They're now? Just like Yes, I have to. All right, that's okay. We'll probably be wrapping up here shortly anyway, so. Thank you for hopping <laughs> in. We love you. We miss you. Oh, he's got that con crud. You hear that? Yeah, yeah we all have the con that... crud. Yep. I, I disagree. I used I lucked out. I took, I yeah, was, I'm, I'm I took vitamin C and multivitamins every day. I'm fighting it in my throat, but other than that, I'm okay. 
I'm hoping it's I did lose my voice, though. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks but, for hopping in, Jamie. Doing all that Thanks for having me. Hope the rest of it is good. I'll see you guys. Bye, Bye sweet baby. Love Tell you. Tell Tori I love her. Love you, Tori. Hey, Bye. Tori. Everybody loves you. Huh? No, I'm on mute. I don't think he understands that covering the camera does not show off the microphone. <laughs> yeah. I love you back. Oh, yay. Yay. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Farewell. Until next time. Bye bye. I'm not Bye-bye. gonna quote anybody <laughs> from YouTube. Bye. Okay, now I gotta fix the camera. My cameras. Yep. My cameras for all this. Go go go. Oh go. my god. Go go go. Yeah. I, I would also say that the first time we all played the. First one shot, Matthew's one shot, since it was my first time ever playing in person, was That's, also really great. Yes, that was so. my first time playing in person in 20 years at least. Yeah, that's actually a good point. That's probably almost the same for me, give or take. Because all of my games are digital. Nah. Same? Yeah. Derek, this is just weird having one of your eyes and me. And yeah, no, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Fix it faster. Sorry, I'm going to. Don't tell me what to do! <laughs> <laughs> He's like no, Victoria's just sort of creeping in on her own yeah, friends she, like she's... Ah <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> Derek, hello. Oh hello. Hello? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Go on, Christy, do it. I'm trying, I'm trying. Fix me. I fixed you already. I'm in Jamie though. Give Just give it a minute. I, I you're you're done a delay. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna get a yeah, picture of Jamie. I'm gonna get a picture of Jamie up here. Oh, get a really unflattering one. No, I have a cute one. <laughs> no. Give him. Can we just get an audio clip of him snoring and just put it in there instead? <laughs> did you record it? That's we can't do that. I didn't. I d- I did take a he couple. Did. I took some Snapchats of it. I did. Oh okay. Oh, Here, I'm gonna choose my favorite one. <laughs> oh, now you can't see shit. <laughs> oh, hello. White screen. What did you do? <laughs> Furious typing. <laughs> By the way, if you oh, no. haven't entered, you can type the word birthday in chat for your chance to win uh, little dragon core dice, birthday st- birthstone, gemstone. <laughs> Lord. What is this pic? Where does- what is this? <laughs> Chris, Chris great. please! Great picture, yes, totally. <laughs> the best. <laughs> oh my god, that just makes what I said in chat so much worse. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> what is it? Oh. There we go. We're good. I'm in Jamie. I mean, that was basically the theme of our. Oh, you know what? My. Okay. One of my favorite moments that it was really just an hour hotel room moment. We got super silly on Friday night. Like, real silly. And, and we, we weren't in drunk the hotel. or anything. No, we no we none of us at any point drank. Nope. At least no. not together. No. I mean, well, Matthew. Matthew, I, I had a couple I, sets I, of. I drank the whole bloody weekend. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> but I don't think any of us were actually drunk. But like, we literally were in there like being silly and like just talking about stupid stuff. And I'm like harassing Jamie, and then we just got the sillies like super hard. So we were, like we were trying to make like, a whole sleepover. Like, we were trying to take the little cot and put it between the two king beds so that yes. we could It wouldn't fit. It was one inch too big. It was so close to fitting in, and we would have had a big, whole, like, giant mega bed. Mm-hmm. It would have been, like, a slumber party, but Jamie ruined it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one, that was, that was really funny. Yes, it, it was, that was great. We were pretty hyped up at that point. I believe it. I'm sad I My least out. favorite part was Christy leaving. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I was not okay. You broke uh, I would me. say Christy and Jamie leaving, cause, er, and Calvin, because they all left at the same time. Yeah, we all left at the same yeah, time. That was just... 
That was not fun. Yeah, no. I look over. I'm sitting in the tech or in the Uber, and I look over. I see Victoria's face, and I just like broke and sobbed into my hands for a, pretty much the whole ride back to the airport. Jamie was trying not to cry. Kelvin's trying to comfort me, and I'm just like, oh yeah, Ugh, like doing the <laughs> type cry. I'm oh, like, oh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I was probably doing that too. I mean, Matthew and G- and uh, Derek can tell you that for like a solid like hour or two after that, I was like really mad and sad and yeah. crying on and off. Yep, me too. <laughs> but what was- I heard Derek and Jamie 69 <laughs> and I oh and I oh, oh. <laughs> I'll find what, a way to get what, what was nice though is me me and Jamie and Kelvin, we all had the same terminal and the same gate numbers basically. Like he was like a few gates down from us, so we all went through check in at the same time and I got an extra like hour with him because he left at six and we left at seven. So mm-hmm. that's, that's the amazing. first time that's, that's awesome. ever happened to me flying out with people. So like that was really cool that we got to wait at the gate and watch him get on the plane. That was really nice. Oh, little baby man. Yeah. Baby. And meanwhile, yeah, no. three of us standing outside all crying together. I yeah. Know. It's like, okay, I'm going to go try to cry in my room and hope my roommates are asleep already because they don't see this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was definitely the hardest part. I think it'll always be the hardest part, even going forward when we do this again, because we're going to do this again. So. Yes, we have to at some yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, it. It's, that was hard because it's like I mean, and, and Matthew and I were talking about this. Is like you know, like we've all like been interacting for a year or two years or however long, mm-hmm. and like we all like know each other. Mm-hmm. But there's always been that like barrier, and you don't realize how much of a barrier it is until you see that person in person, and you get to experience just little things like you know, what does Christy's hair smell like when you <laughs> hug her, or like you know. That like she just has like you. No you kind of viewers at home. It smells good. Oh. <laughs> and like your your legs are so little. <laughs> <laughs> like I really She's so short, just so short. And yeah, like all of these little things that you don't realize, and then like and then oh, to like build up to the moment where you know that that barrier is going to be put back is just really yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And it made me sad. Like, I've met a lot of friends online. A majority of my friends are from online. In fact, one of my best friends, she actually lives in Vancouver, and we both met online. And it's it's such a crazy, surreal experience, especially when they're, like, halfway across the world sometimes. I've met people from Japan. I have met people from America as well. I've go- gone to L.A. to meet someone from Texas. Like, we all met in L.A. So, like, I, I've experienced that barrier breaking before, but I don't know why. Well, I, I think I know why. It's just we develop such deep relationships in character as well as out of character. It's almost like you're meeting two people in the same at the same moment. And it's like you have that relationship in character, which is special on its own way. And then you have, char- you have a relationship with them out of character as well. And, like, when the two meet it's just like it hits you like a brick wall and you don't expect it because like i've met a lot of people that i've been friends with online for years in person and it the impact even saying goodbye like the impact is very different this time and i i I, that's the only thing i could attribute it to is just how close we all are like in game and out i think part of what makes it so hard and again this is something that matthew and i talked about is it's you christy like you are the person that we were all waiting for and you're the person who ties all of the games together oh, and like and like you're the person yeah you're the one that we were like please come please don't give up like and you're the you're the one who really like made our gathering like you're the one who like gave it life because we were all there but we weren't all together it's, we in an were, emotional sense until it was you there oh, right it's, the me. biggest thing for most of us like we're all <laughs> like we crack jokes about it in victorial comment you know i ended up with your room keys mm. but the reason that was possible is every one of us at one point or another went down to talk to leah <laughs> yeah leah. Hi, leah, if you Hi, happen leah. To know about the stream <laughs> to uh be like hey we heard from christy and kelvin they're still waiting now we just want to make sure, is their room going to be okay when they get here? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you guys no, they've, ha- have they've done had enough it. of a trouble. You guys had done it so much that they called us before we boarded our flight to Atlanta. And they're like, "Hey, so are you, we? We know that you're you're stuck, but are are you? Are, we just want an update. Like, where is the ETA at?" And I'm like, "We're coming. We're getting on the Atlanta flight to <laughs> Indianapolis now. We're coming. We'll be there in like two hours." And she's like, "Oh, good. Oh, good. Perfect. We'll be there." And then I hang up, and Matthew tells me that he's been talking to her, and I'm like, "I was literally just talking to her on the phone." <laughs> like she did, she hung up, and I said, "Let me guess. That was Kelvin." She goes, "No, Christy." <laughs> 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 okay, I was just yeah, gonna let you know they were aboard the plane, but it sounds like you already know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Oh God. But it's yeah. it's all it's you, Christy. Oh, Victoria. It really no. is you. You're the one who ties it all together. Otherwise, it's just me screaming at a bunch <laughs> of dudes. <laughs> guys are all so important to me and this group like i couldn't imagine it any other way like oh i love you all so much and like honestly after you were gone like it's like you came and we had so much fun the morning after you left i was like i was in a mood <laughs> oh i did oh. not want to speak to anyone oh derek can attest <laughs> I mean, well, Derek left I woke early. Up. Yeah, oh. I woke up like right when we woke up. I uh, basically left almost. So yeah, Derek I had to, leave had to pretty go early. early. Yeah, that's true. And it's like right after Christy left, I said goodbye to both of them because I knew <laughs> if I was lucky enough to pass out when I went upstairs, I wasn't getting up before they were. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. all needed sleep. It's like we left. I wake up and everybody's bloody gone. It's like yeah. Michael's gone. I know Victoria and Derek. No, uh, Victoria went with him. To get a ride over, Derek was leaving early. It was like, everyone. Christy left last night, and now everyone's gone. Yeah. I'm going to take the long walk to Steak and Shake. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah! They have the best banana chocolate got, shakes ever. Oh my freaking god. Full of art of broken dreams running through my head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, out of this little <laughs> inner paternal music video as you're walking. It's like, oh my god. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. I cried yeah, when we landed in Vancouver, new. for sure. I was, like, I, we slept the, pretty much the, every flight. I slept at the airport. I was so tired. Like, yeah. I, I just knocked the fuck out. But the moment we landed in Vancouver, I just cried. Burst, the same way I burst out into tears when we landed in Indianapolis. I burst into tears when we landed. I'm like, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it was nice having Kelvin there, too. Kelvin really is Provo's boyfriend. He's Provo's like, great. Like, he's... He's so caring. I did not anticipate him. Like, obviously, Christy cares for him, and we all joke about him in some passing. (laughs) But the Friday group really hasn't had a whole lot of interaction with him. No. Because he's usually at work. Because he's usually at work Wednesday. It's usually lip flirting with him. Hi. Yeah. And then disappears, and that's it. Yeah. It's Jamie normally messing with him on Saturday. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, just seeing how chill he was with everything it was just i know like... he is the most chill huh? person i know so whenever he actually gets mad or upset that's when i know something's wrong because he's he's so blasé about everything he's very very gentle and, and sweet and caring and mm-hmm. and like i think there were like a couple times that he was like oh are you okay and was like making sure that like different people were, were all right and like you guys were like giving me your food and stuff like that mm-hmm. because i was dirt poor and like he yeah, always does so that good. he likes taking care of people and he doesn't like like you sitting there not eating while we're eating makes him feel like shit like he's like, no, I will not allow this. You need to eat because he's that type of person with me as well, and he will force you, in his kind way, to eat. <laughs> you know, he really he was a good proficiency bonus boyfriend. He's the best boyfriend, <laughs> and I love sharing him with you guys. It makes me next so time, happy. Next time, we're all gonna get one hotel room. Hell yes. yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Well, maybe okay. I think like I think like Matthew and his family they'll get one. Michael and his family they'll get one. And all of us, all of us kiddos, will get another. And we're gonna we're gonna get the cot to fit in between the two king beds. And we're gonna have a big sleepover and a whole cuddle puddle. Hell yeah! Throw all of the pillows in between the two beds. Oh my so god, we can, can do just... like the bag of holding with all the pillows and blankets and just pull yes, it all totally. out and yes. have a have a pillow party. <laughs> 
Yeah. It would be perfect. Yeah, I'd say mine is definitely... Just pay, just pay no mind to the person videotaping in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> DVD's I mean, on sale. I'll give you my camera. It's got good quality video, apparently, so I'll give you my camera to oh, do God. it. Okay. Okay. I mean, knowing some of the shit that, like, Christy and I will get up to on, like, video calls... <laughs> And, like, if we had had a couple extra days to just, like, We chill could have an extra talk. day! God damn it, LaGuardia! <laughs> Fuck you, New York! <sighs> Keep me whole. Fuck. Yeah, meeting you guys was definitely, like, the first moment and all the hugs that I got. Those were those were my favorite moments, hands down. Meeting Ginny D was definitely iconic, for sure. And, yeah. I think I'm on the just same all page. Just all the- cool games the uh, the t amazing hardworking artists yeah artist alley was oh, yeah, phenomenal this year Holy yeah the crap. art was great the cosplayers oh the jesters oh my oh, god every jester um, i saw my voice turned to like this because i can't help jester. it jester. shout jester. out to peach newt peach newt was the person who had the wings the articulating oh, the, wings oh, oh, yes, yeah, yes, those are yes. So hang cool. on let's see let's see if i have yeah seriously like they have like a guide on how to make them on their Twitter, like blown absolutely blown away. And apparently, not only do they open and close, but apparently they can like flap forward and backwards yeah, too. There you go. Yeah, Peach Newt at Peach Newt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's phenomenal. We were lucky enough to uh, meet her. Uh, and got, I'm trying to scroll, but I can't tell if I'm doing it. Well, oh, there we go. If I look at the other screen, I can see it. There you go. And once more. Yeah, that Vax cosplay was unreal. broke my heart broke it my was heart. amazing like we i saw the wings and christy and i were both like no like seriously your cosplay is so good we have goosebumps and we like held out our arms we were like look like your cosplay is amazing like oh man there was like a couple that, kumats that was a low point of the campaign for uh the campaign bloody hell the weekend for some of us trying to get when we all separated from lunch in the mall those of us trying to leave the cosplay, cosplay oh, yeah. play, and parents using their children to barricade the doors shut mm -hmm. so that people couldn't get out of the convention center. Wait, what? Yeah. During the cosplay parade, parents were taking their children and lining them against the doors and holding the doors shut on people. So you couldn't, you couldn't exit from the front. You had to find it somewhere around the other side. And I also got this little pin from what? Artist Alley. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was, was ridiculous. We were yeah. slamming doors into people. It was... Oh, him! Yeah. That's, that's the... Ancientones.net. He does Jamie amazing... Got an actual thing. I wanted <laughs> Jamie to show that. his art because it's yeah. so good. This is a, one of his enamel pins, but like his, heart, his art is like very like metallic and like mm -hmm. vibrant neons. and oh, It's just gorgeous. It's very colorful. Ancientones.net. Ancient Go check them out. There was um, Lauren A. Brown. Do you remember? I don't know if, if it was with you, Christy, but there was that one um, artist that was kind of on like the corner of one of the walkways, and they um, she had the um, trash animal Nouveau pins of like the. Oh like, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. I I uh, ordered because she was out of the raccoon and the possum. Um, I ordered one. I ordered the possum, so that should be arriving soon. But Lauren A. Brown. Super talented artist. Yeah, there, there I can't. I bought so um print arts of like those cats from those stickers that you got. I bought. Yeah, a, yeah. I, I can't remember her name because Kelvin has the prints at home right now, and he's in Hong Kong, so I can't get them. But they're gorgeous, like illustrations of these kittens, and she's so talented. If there I were, if like, I find what it is, I'll put it in the description in YouTube, so you guys can go check her out because there's some really phenomenal artists there. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. linking stuff. Yeah, that was it. Was like, like, like the the crafts people, the game designers, mm -hmm. the artists, mm -hmm. the cosplayers. Like, every part of it was just like amazing. Indianapolis is pretty cool. Like, and you yeah. know, it's like it's not humid there, so it was like in yeah, the it was high eighties. Nice. Yeah. But it was luckily nice. there was the weather was great for that weekend. Yeah, because it can get hot there. Yeah, but luckily it was really nice. It was super nice. One last reminder, need... sorry guys, one last reminder to join the giveaway tonight for a chance to win the little core, the little dragon core dice, uh, birthday dice. Enter the word birthday in chat for your chance to win, because we will be closing that soon. Sorry, go ahead, Victoria. 
Uh, I don't remember. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we were talking about the artists. Yeah, no, just everyone was, like, so talented and great. They need more Starbucks, though. Yes. <laughs> Around the convention center. Pop-up yeah. Starbucks. I mean, because you all wait in that line for how long? Mm. On that last like, I, I will wait in any line. I don't care. <laughs> Hotel coffee's at not going to At least 20 minutes. In. You guys mm -hmm. were in line for at least 20 minutes. Yep. Hotel coffee was not there too. Yeah, but I... I was going back and forth. Huh. You know, you gotta be caffeinated. Yeah. Not like Jamie's yeah, Jamie, caffeinated. You have to be overcared. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because Gen Con um, <laughs> Starbucks had these like specific Gen Con related drinks like they usually do. And he got something called the Flash with how mm -hmm. many shots of espresso? It was, it was like a I white chocolate this... mocha caramel with five shots of espresso. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, we say five, but it's based on the size. The bigger you get, right? It was the like seven because he got a venti, I think. Christ. It's, all I know is they meant when they asked it in passing, it they said, "Oh no, it starts. To, it's got at least five. And it's like, uh, "Well, give me this size, okay." <laughs> and then they broke the espresso machine, making it. They had to clean it out and make more. Jesus, oh, oh, so Jamie. Good. So when you see videos of Jamie from that day, and he's walking around like this, <laughs> well, I can't get a clear photo of him. He's like constantly blurry. It's because he's like <laughs> vibrating like the Flash, about to launch into outer space. I can walk through walls, I swear. <laughs> Oof. Oof. All right. Fam. Also, um, really quick, shout sure. out to Michael for those cute swag oh, bags. Oh, yeah, the swag oh, yeah. bags. That was so above and beyond. We don't he deserve so, that. He, got, he gave one for me and Kelvin. I love the notebook. The notebook is my fave. You actually see the photo of the of the notebook in uh, on on screen right now that you keep seeing. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. It's cycling. Yeah, it's there cycling it is. through. Oh. Yeah. But oh, I'm 30 seconds behind NVM. I don't know where it is right now. But um, yeah, no, that was so sweet. We got some Probo swag, gave out some business cards. Got some business cards, yep. got some hand sanitizer, got the notebook, got the decal for your car. Got the koozie for your drink, for your ginger ale. Oh, yeah, that was so cool. I got to use that still. That was very kind of you, Michael. If you're watching this, if you see this, thank you. We don't yes. deserve it. We, are yes. so we love you, Michael. You. Thank you. I miss you. Yeah. Oh, also, like, uh, right as I was saying goodbye to Michael, Sam Regal freaking walked out of the oh, elevator right. directly behind yeah. us. And I, like, I turned because I heard someone coming out of the elevator, and I was like, oh, let me make sure I'm not in their way. And then I was like, what? I, like, looked back. <laughs> but then I was like, oh, I don't want to bother him. So then after he, like, walked by, because he had sunglasses on, I was like, that was Sam Regal. And I had just finished saying goodbye to Michael, and he was like, what? And then he and Whitman just, like, turned and ran. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, bye. <laughs> See, that's my big problem with John's. It's I never want to bother people. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. So look at them yeah. Especially when they're incognito like that. Like you like he's yeah. wearing those glasses for, inside for a reason. And that uh we don't know. His eyes might be as bad as mine. I don't oh, my sunglasses all the time. <laughs> well, everyone has a reason. No, nah, they're usually incognito. I do love like all of the how they were like going up to people in cosplay like secretly mm -hmm. throughout the convention and being like, "Oh, I love your character." And and then being like Clark Clark Kenting the shit out of them by just like taking off the glasses. Oh. <laughs> I was like Matthew Mercer. He, he did it again. It's like I'm sorry. How the hell do you not recognize that? Here's the thing though. Like if you, you think about it, there shock, were so many people. Yeah. There were so many people in there. Were you okay. looking at every single person's face? Here, here's what happened to me when I was yeah, at PAX. I, was... I met the voice of Ladybug while I was in cosplay for Ladybug. And she trolled the fuck out of me. She's like, oh, what do you think of Marinette's voice actor? Because there's this whole thing online that the French voice actor is better than the English one. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to get into this into this conversation. I'm like, oh, yeah, she's OK. Not saying she's great. I'm like, she's OK. Her friends filming it is laughing her ass off because I'm like, oh, yeah, she's OK. She's like, well, do you watch the English version? I'm like, yeah, I watch it. I'm like, but I also watch the Japanese version because I'm learning Japanese. And she's like, oh, how's that? And she's talking to me about the Japanese voice actors while the freaking English voice actor of the character I'm cosplaying is talking to me. <laughs> and I felt like such an asshole. She's like, hey, can we look at my friend and on the count of three say, Miraculous Ladybug or Tiki Spots On? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And we did it. And all of a sudden she says it in her character voice. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck me. Fuck. 
<laughs> I was so trolled. I love her so much. Christina V, you oh, are amazing. But that's a little different, too, because it's a voice actor. You don't see their face as much. Well, there, that's the thing, too. Like... Some people might not be watching Critical Role because they do it on podcast form no, as well. And true. Matt Mercer, they're all voice actors. So, like, the the, I is, can kind of like, see it a little bit. When they put on a hat and glasses, even in passing, if you're not paying attention, because most people are focused on themselves, their group of friends, mm. and the, the shiny thing that has caught their attention, yes. you're not looking at the 70,000 plus yeah, people Jamie. that are walking by you. <laughs> shiny. Every time shiny. we turn around, Jamie's gone. Jamie what, disappeared you so many times. <laughs> you, you all were that bad on the first day. Right here. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing because it reminded me of PAX. So I was. Like, I was fully in control. Around. I was ready. Okay, I was so just like off getting coffee, but I turned around yeah. and I spent the next hour and a half walking around. Marco, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, it's like might as well go along for the ride and just look at some cool stuff. Well, it's literally I circled the floor like three times at that point. Going, Ooh, uh-huh. look, that artist. That's how I ran into a. Uh, 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 um, Alan Pinnacle, the uh, Angel One Start Net guy. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to close the giveaway now. I'm going to give you guys an extra 30 seconds while stream chat uh, catches up. Uh, last chance to enter the word birthday in chat for your chance to win some birthday dice from Little Dragon Corps, our awesome sponsor of the stream. Do we'll it. That. Get yourself some dicey boys. Get fam. yourself some dicey boys. I would enter really cool. and send them to Ink, but I can't do that because I'm on the video right now. But yesterday, <laughs> poor Ink. Poor Ink. We'll get, we'll get. I was asleep last night. <laughs> he had a time. His dice were unkind. But that's All okay. I know we, is we I saw the him. beginning of it. People calling Ink, sir. Somebody calling, um, I think, Nova Daddy, and I get all confused. <laughs> no, Chell is Daddy. Okay, so Chell is Daddy, so does that make Nova Mommy, and in that case, what does that make Ink? Um, Nova is... Nova's also Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got three. Oh. We got three unique oh. entries, so let's... Yes. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna get them? Yep. Who's going to get, get those it? dice? Get those click clackers. Alright. <laughs> Do Drum it, Christy. Roll. Do it. <laughs> Ooh, Scythian Nightingale. Nightingale, congrats. Uh, if you want, it, you can either email proficiencybonus at gmail.com to send your information on how we can send you those dice for address and the type of dice you want, which gemstone you're looking for. Or you can uh, DM me at Mystic Water on Twitter if that is suitable. So yes, congrats. Either way, make sure you have your name, the address you want the dice mailed to, and if you go on littledragoncorp.com, you can look. They have a set of dice corresponding to each uh birthstone so there's 12 different sets so either pick your own birth month or if you want to give them as a gift or if you just like another set just pick pick one of those birth months so that we know which ones to send to you yep and once again that's proficiency bonus at gmail.com or at mystic water on twitter Let me know. congratulations congrats nightingale any last thoughts before we wrap up here my bbs i love you i love you all more Oh, as opposed to steal a line from somebody else, I love you 3,000. Oh! <laughs> I love y'all also. There it is. <laughs> Full circle. We love you Jamie too, Jamie. Us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he loves us. Okay, guys. Does he, though? This is the second time he's left us. <laughs> he left us on oh, Friday. Every he's time leaving us, us a good time. Oh, baby. But we uh, love Tori, you. Tori, if you're still watching this, tell Jamie that he doesn't love us. I don't think she's in chat anymore. No, I think she ran away. Yeah. So but she good. said he farts a lot, so. He smells like We blood. can let the stream know that. <laughs> he smells yeah, like Because he farts so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, BBs. Well, thank you all for joining me for this quick little Gen Con recap. I'd like to do it again with Michael at some point as well, get his perspective on things. 
Um, we should be back next week. I haven't decided what we're doing, but hopefully Mystic Water is back and a little bit more stable going forward. And I'm excited that we did Gen Con and I'm excited to do it again next year and the year after and the year after and always. Yay. I love you all so much and we will see you guys next week. Okay, love you. Bye. 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 -bye.